We have no desire for anything in Gaza. Israel, um, our brand is being attacked. Israel is being attacked in, in, the, in some places, not everywhere. The, uh, you know, when, when you look at the numbers, a uh, uh, big majority of Americans support Israel. But when you look at the media, and, and because of the noisy folks are the ones on campus, it, it, it's a bit uh, confusing. Um, and right now there's a crisis between uh, Israel and America, especially uh, after last night. Last night was yeah. a meaningful um, event. Uh, uh, President Biden said that if we go into Rafah, uh, he, he may stop uh, shipments of, uh, of ammunition. Um, President Biden is a friend of Israel, and and uh, we're uh, you know full of gratitude. I, I I met him a few times. I met him in the White House when I was Prime Minister. He loves Israel. It's a fact. But I think this was a big mistake. I think this was wrong because if you agree that we can never allow October seventh to happen again, then then you need to support us yes. in our battle against those who want to do it again and again. And I, I want to emphasize the war in Gaza is not a war of retribution. We're not punishing Gaza for what they did. We're not punishing Hamas for what they, what they did. We are trying to prevent the next October 7th because they tell us explicitly that they want to continue destroying. They, they're going to do another October 7th and another. So you guys are a bit too young. Maybe uh, you'll remember and recall uh, a movie in the 80s was called uh, um, with uh, Michael Douglas and Glenn Close. Fatal Attraction. Fatal Attraction. Yeah. Thank so you for thinking yeah. everyone here is yeah, too we, young. Yeah. <laughs> so do, do you remember? Maybe, right. Brand, maybe Brandon. <laughs> so they, they did what they did, but uh, uh, um, Glenn Close wouldn't, wouldn't let off. She wouldn't let up. She just went after him again. And she, he said, come on, get off my case. I want to emphasize, we have no desire for anything in Gaza. We've got no business with them. We pulled out in 2005. We handed the entirety of Gaza over to the Palestinians. 100%, not 99%, 100% back to the 1949 line. We we pulled out all the soldiers, we pulled out all the Israelis living there, and we handed the keys to Mahmoud Abbas, the moderate one, if you will. And we got 18 years of hell from there, again and again. So it's like Glenn Close just cut, what do you want? What do you want? And, and, and their answer is, we want to destroy you. So it's not about a tract of land, it's not about building their future. They prefer to kill Jews than to build their own future. That, that's the reality. Now we can ignore it. We can pretend that that's not the case, but that's exactly the case. They had everything they needed to build a Singapore, but they turned it into, into Hamastan.